I, I, I think that's a worthwhile project, very much so, because one of the things I've been missing is almost the linkage between the present leadership and the past. Mm -hmm. Tell them. Many, many of the people now are not aware that we've been struggling since the 50s. We were very well organized way back when, and then, you know, the change, you know, time changes, and um, I think people just kind of lost somewhat the interest in leading and being so responsible to the community as well as to their families. And I think as a, all of us grow older, then we just kind of concentrate more on, the, on our families and raise our kids and stuff. But I, I think there's always been a core of people who uh, we consult, we're consulted by different organizations and ready to do it any time, you know. So <clears throat> that's where we are right now. So I think you come at a time that would be nice to, to have new blood and new leadership. And uh, I, I do think that it's, it's important, it doesn't matter if you're a leader or not, but I think that it's almost like uh, it doesn't matter if you lose or win the game, but I think it's better to win it. <laughs> and I think <laughs> the same amounts to, uh, I think uh, leading is important. We need leaders badly. I, I get so tired of people just kind of uh, grabbing their degree and disappearing into the institutions and becoming institutionalized themselves. And uh, I see that more and more, you know. So that assimilation kind of, rather than maintaining a sense of pluralistic world that we would like to have. Each one maintaining their own identity and part of their culture and those kinds of things.